I'm in I'm in Kent, UK. Oh, Kent. <laughs> very quiet and nice place. I was in Kent this last time I came around. Yes, it's, it's very Kent. I moved there because of the children, so it's very um peaceful there. Oh nice. <laughs> It was uh, my birthday on the 1st of October, Daddy Freeze. Whose birthday? Yours? Your birthday? Yes. Oh, wow. How old did you turn? A graceful 38. <laughs> wow. It done the come. Uh, it done the come. Ah, I couldn't recover. I went out last night. and I c <laughs> It's taking me 24 hours to recover. <laughs> Are you serious? Hey, don't they come? But I mean, we can't, I'm very grateful. Very grateful. I've come a long way, you know. Oh. Yeah. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. People, I'm people so say no be, no be clear eye with the youth come abroad. No be clear eye. <laughs> no. Huh? No be clear eye. But no clear eye. Exactly. How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. So tell me your story. So my story is, um, I don't know. Um, I, I hope I probably inspire some people that are on this platform in so many ways. And um, I'm very grateful. I've been feeling very emotional today and watching where I've come from and where I am and where I'm going, it's um, nothing but grace. So... Mm. I'm the last girl in the family of five, middle class, you know, typical, um, typical um, middle class family in Nigeria. And um, I was the one that the teacher never liked because I used to talk too much. I used to play too much. <laughs> I used to be mischievous. Nobody believed in me. But somehow, all it takes, you know, I do hear Lady Gaga say, all it takes is one person to just believe in you, you know. So I feel my dad actually saw something that nobody saw in me. And that is such a good thing because I noticed that he noticed something in me. And that stuff that I not when I look into my dad's eye and I see it, has kept me focused and going. So I went to med school. I graduated. And then mm. I came yeah, and then obviously Nigeria holds nothing for you as a doctor, I must say. You know, if you, my parents are not doctors, uh, my parents are not hospital staff, so I didn't really have much future when it comes to with my profession in Nigeria. So I left the country. I've been able to finish up my training. Uh, unfortunately, my marriage didn't work out. Mm. That's a story for another day. But handling three children on my own, without any help and still being able to smile and be healthy mm. and take care of my mental health in the way I'm doing it, I can only say it's, it's God's grace. So that's mm. my story in a nutshell, you know? So hopefully anybody that's going through stuff, um, just keep doing it and be focused. One day you look back and look, you know, look at how far I've come and be grateful. So simple and short. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so. that is so awesome. That yeah. is so awesome. Yeah. That is so, that's a beautiful story to start with from time to yeah. time. Yeah. Um, um. Uh, sorry, let me call you. Uh -huh. So um, I'm going to start this segment where people can actually get to share their stories. Yeah. And serious, I'll share your story. Um, it might be a sad story, a happy story, an inspiring story, whatever it is. Yeah. Share your story. It is your story. I'm not going to talk much. I'm not going to advise you. I'm just going to hear your story and maybe I'll be motivated, inspired, you know? So okay. thank you so much, darling. And God bless you. God bless you. Bye. Bye. All right, who else wants to share their story? What a beautiful story it was. Quite inspiring. Nobody believed in her, but her dad believed in her. And then she ended up turning out all right, despite the fact that the marriage didn't work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Remy. Daddy Freeze. Remy, do you want to share mm -hmm. your story? Daddy Freeze. 
I'm not mm-hmm. sure. Um, oh. I've been like, you know, super emotional. And uh, the last couple, uh, last couple of days watching your video. Yeah. I saw Tazebot's video to this afternoon and, you know, when she started crying, I couldn't watch it. And that video was four years ago or three years ago. Yeah. You know, and some dingbats on Facebook whose brain is so far away from their body that they'll need scaffolding to raise it to the level of where their body is. Mm. I'm talking nonsense. Eh, that if it's mm. true that you collected somebody's wife. I know even hey. when you say I collected his wife. A rich man collected the wife of a lazy man. Finish. I think that the reason eh? some people, right? No matter what you do, no matter what you tell them, they will still end up believing what they want to believe. I'm telling you. Even when you put the like the facts and the truth in their face, they don't know. Facebook is like a coagulation of buffoons. Oh my you are, god. As in you you know where they coagulate. You know, that's it, it is a toxic place, I tell you. You know toxic like that. Toxicity, jam toxicity. I know. I, you, I will, I will, I will frustrate your life. <laughs> God bless you, Daddy Freeze. Um, taste buds. God bless you. Um, you know, congratulations. I just pray that God will continue to like strengthen you both. You know, and Daddy Freeze, you are a good man, standing up for taste buds, speaking for her, fighting for her. God bless you. Um, mm. I, I don't, I don't know. I know it can't be easy, but I just pray for strength for you both. I pray for strength. <laughs> oh my man. You both deserve do you both deserve to be happy? Not after everything you've been you've been through. Uh, you be, deserve to be happy. Ah, uh, they see the people uh, listen to what people are saying on Facebook. Let me read to you. Mm. Uh, okay, I don't remove them. Oh, they say this man rest now. I don't ban him from all my live videos. Prevent this person from interacting with any live stream from this page. Bam. Better. 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 I don't know why that thing exactly. is Exactly. I think it comes to a point in your life where if you're not for me, you're against me. You know, and if you're against me, get out from my sight. Because I have somewhere I'm going Straight to. Up. Straight mm-hmm. up. Uh, mm-hmm. There's no room for negativity. Israel Odili. Israel Odili come my page. He said, "Now, person wife good for you, Abby. Now, your mama good for me. Really. If I block you now, <laughs> even block. Ah, how I wish. How you know, I you, wish, give, you, you see, let me tell you. Let me, I, I hate to brag. Yeah. People do not live in the vicinity of where they can say this to my face. They, they cannot. Kids, they cannot people can't kids. say it to your face. They Nowhere we can meet. If they are at the airport, I'll be in the lounge. They will be sitting on the railing somewhere waiting for their... <laughs> There's nowhere where we are that we can meet. Absolutely. But Facebook has given their parents free data. So <laughs> the, a dumb person has access to a fa- smartphone and free data and they come and talk nonsense. <sighs> You know when it, when sometimes when I see comments online, I go, mm-hmm. "Oh my God, are you like?" So someone can still think like this, and then I will click on the comment, you know, just to like put a let's face see, to the yeah, comment. Let's see who is what they look like. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah. you look at uh, and you say, "Okay, of course," you know. And sometimes the person looks good and decent and presentable, but the then comment. you'll be shocked with what they. Your- Wearing second-hand clothes. You can see that they are messed up. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, <laughs> if, if you're, you see, Remy, you're saying it was an emotional period for you. It has been, yes. Ah, oh, man. This afternoon, I cried. I did. Tell and um, Remy, t- tell us about you. Let's relate. <laughs> It's do you know what? <laughs> do you know what? Um, I'm still healing. Yes. Uh, if I, if I start my story, we wouldn't leave this place tonight. And um, I don't know. You know what? What I tell people, you know, this thing called healing. Mm. 
it's a step thing. You never get to the point where you say, I'm actually healed because it's all about protecting your aura, protecting things around you. You know, I, I'm going, you know, I'm raising three kids on my own, three kids. Mm. Sometimes I break down. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I smile. Sometimes I don't. But in all in all, if I look back, three years ago where I am today I'm very grateful so when it, when people are talking about I'm healing they think oh one day I'm going to be healed actually it's a lifelong process because you're going to forever protect that space where you find yourself in an equilibrium so that to protect it uh-huh, so you know they sleep mm-hmm. so just sleep uh-huh. I remember um, there was one time back in, in Lagos you know, after everything that happened, you know, when I had my first child, she was, you know, poorly. Um, I think the doctor said that our lungs did not develop, even though that wasn't the truth. Mm. And we we got a place in Lagos, uh, somewhere in Bagada, you know, a new couple and all of that. And mm. the house was haunted. Haunted how? Ghosts. No way. Life. Yes, true. It was a oh. haunted house. <laughs> that if it's life. <laughs> I'm not good with telling stories, you know, that if it's, I'm not good with telling stories. <laughs> I, don't ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts. So try, I want you to convince me because I'm it's, quite free. I don't want to call myself atheist because I'm close to that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tell me your story. I don't know, Daddy Freezer, I'm not ready. But what I'm saying is, well, let me just, I don't know. I'll just try and go round, round, around it. Because uh, do you know why I'm not exactly ready to share? Yeah. Because uh, some people will, you know, comment. I'm not very good with, you know, um, replying comments and, you know, reading stuff and replying people. I'll just read and just go away. But. I don't want people to take my story and just trash it and mess it up anyhow because they don't know what you are raising kids in UK alone. I am raising kids here too. So we both know what it's like. Nobody it's not the same. Story. It's not the same like Nigeria. I swear. It's not the same. It's not. Well done. It's, not, it's well not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. And I've been in this UK by myself. Oh. You know, I, I'm not with anybody. I'm not seeing anybody. If there's anybody in this UK who will say that they have been with Femi all these years, let that person come out and talk to that It's And this is a conscious decision. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. So the house I lived in, in Lagos, you know, we just got married and everything. And I'm a Yoruba woman and I married an Igbo man. Okay. So that carries a lot for people who understand. That's I, a lot. Yeah. So anyway, that house, we, we didn't know at first that it was haunted, you know, but it was like a, a six, um, six flats, you know, three flats on one side and then three flats on the other side. And we had the, the middle flat, you know. So at the top, the, the last floor, I, did, I used to like, you know, we used to hear movements and all of that which was fine you know um you know doors closing and you know people walking <laughs> funny thing is someone just started following me now the person's name is ghost is following you <laughs> how <laughs> weird <laughs> please don't follow me <laughs> i don't want ghosts to follow me anyway so <laughs> yeah it's weird right anyway So the top bit of that house, we will hear, you know, movement and everything. So, well, I didn't really, I I thought, well, that's a normal thing, you know, because we have, there there should be people living there. But there was nobody there. I think we went to visit our neighbor, like our neighbor, the, I I think it was the next line. They were also on the middle flat. And then I realized that there was no other way people living at the top of where we were could gain access 
except if they go through my staircase and I had to open the door for them. I wasn't working then, you know, and I was, you know, always at home because I just had a baby. So I said, okay, wait a minute. Let me go upstairs and see how my neighbors upstairs, how they gain access into just, you know, their flat. I was just curious. And then imagine my shop when I got there and the flat was empty, no windows, no doors. But then I used to hear, we hear movements downstairs, footsteps, doors closing, windows, you know. I said, wait, oh, this is weird. So I ran back to my flat. So when my uh, children's dad came, I told him, I said, wait, nobody lives here. He said, are you kidding? Then he went to check as well. Ha. You know, and, and then he, he was working in VI then, would leave the house, leave um, the house early in the morning, 5 a.m., come back 6 p.m., you know, be alone at home. Yeah. And lock the door. Do you know that every 1 p.m. in the afternoon, someone will come. I will see that someone is trying to open our living room door and enter. Remember, for you to actually climb the circus, I would have to go and open the main door for you downstairs. And there is no other way anybody can come in. Mm. This is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. 1 p.m., exactly 1 p.m. in the afternoon. The first time that happened, I knew there was nobody. I knew that wasn't a person. So I screamed. Well, I screamed Jesus at the freeze. I said, Jesus. I said, blood of Jesus. Mm. You know, I know you. <laughs> That's why I know that the freeze freeze. me. Look, I don't want to tell this story. No, continue Keep saying. Going. That's my story. story. It's your story. Oh my God. It's a long story, Daddy Freeze, but let me just say this bit so we can just, you know, have fun yeah. just a little bit. But what happened? So, anyway, so the first time I screamed, and so I, I screamed, Jesus, blood of Jesus, and then it stopped, but then a very thick shadow. I was not dreaming. Life. For people who live in that house and are watching this, they will know. They will know what I'm saying. It's true. A very thick shadow. A thick shadow of a person came into my living room through the door. I saw it live in the afternoon. And the tiles of the house is white, so it was, you know, pronounced. That freeze, you're wearing a black T-shirt. I tell you, that is not black enough. Find, the, like, the darkest color ever. I tell you, is it won't be, it won't match the shadow, the color of that shadow. It was thick black. And it came in through the door on the floor. And I, I screamed. And then it went into my kitchen and then through the window. Yes. And I was alone. I was alone in the house. Some people say they want to get married so that they will not be lonely. I tell you, sometimes getting married, being in your marriage could be the loneliest thing ever. And then for those who are yet to get married, they say, oh, if my, if my partner cheats on me, I'll leave him or I'll leave her. I tell you, adultery might be the, the easiest thing that you'll have to cope with in your marriage. Adultery <laughs> might be the cheapest and the easiest thing. There are worse things that can happen to you. And I went through all of this, managed it alone. And I think it, it's worse when you don't have a, a strong support system. You know, do you know, you understand what I'm trying to say? When you don't have a strong support system outside your marriage, you know, in terms of family who will fight for you and speak for you and stand up for you, it makes it worse because then, you know, the, the person you're married to will take it for granted oh. because nobody will come and speak for you and fight for you. Girl, oh. you're scary, man. <laughs> so tell me more about this. Tell me more about You'll this. You'll be fine. Enjoying it. Listen, you will be all right. I'm enjoying it. At least you're being honest. It is your story. And I'm you're not down anyway. So are you in the UK alone now? Remy? Oh, 
Bella. 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 Oh, I feel like giving you a cuddle. People go through a lot. People go through a lot. And you need to understand that they're going through a lot. Remy, I'm going to call Can you, you, okay? Please take me. Just please take me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll call you in a few minutes, okay? I'm just going to join take buds briefly, then I'll call you up. Okay. So, guys, that was her story. Wow. 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 I think I'm going to be having this every week. Tell your story. And people it's are going to just story. come. Yeah. I tell their stories and short stories, long stories, whatever your story is, feel free to tell it. If you're interested in telling me your story, just send me a DM to um, send me a DM to my Instagram account or um, you can send me a message on YouTube. Uh, I don't really read Facebook messages. Um, you know what? So do send me your story. Uh, Maybe I'll come again on Monday to tell my story. I'm going to focus because I can see that a lot of people have stories to tell. Okay? But right now, let's go and join Taze Buds NG. Taze Buds also telling her story. Um, so we can all go join her live. You want to share your story? Come to Instagram. It's always easier right there. God bless you guys. Uh, thank you all so much. Bye. Take care. Uh, and uh, like I said, it's going to be okay. No matter what happened, it's okay. Look at Remy. She's so beautiful. She's alive. She's, she's strong. Peter Ebojele, you'll tell your story on Monday, okay? We have a deal on Monday. Yeah. Just hope it. So take care, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> We're going up to Taste Buds, at Taste Buds NG. We're going there now, at Taste Buds NG. Okay? <laughs> Bye-bye.